Hello and welcome to the Bankers Masterclass series on digitization in association with City. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Sandra Peterson, Global Head of Client Experience, Treasury and Trade Solutions, City. In the second chapter of this four-part series, we're talking about the changing customer expectations and how to respond. Sandra, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So how are you really adapting to the changes in your global uh, you know, in the global client realm in terms of this sort of move to real time um, and, you know, and their need for an immediate response? We're doing several things on, on that front as it relates to uh, opportunities for clients to get access to their data, whether they're coming in leveraging our digital tools or whether we're pushing the information to them so that their information is available and they do not have to do the outreach. Um, and what becomes critical to that process, for that process, is that the information is available instantaneously and it gives them an end-to-end -end view. So what do I mean by that? Uh, we have a product called City Payment Insights, right? And it's about a client wanting to understand the status of their payment. Now you might think simply, okay, the status of a payment, it's paid or it's not paid. The way we built that product, when the client comes into us with one inquiry about that payment status, they can see the end-to-end -end journey of that payment. And what do I mean by that? So they can see each bank that processed the transaction. They can see any fees that were taken out and which bank took out the fees. And then they can ultimately see the final destination of the payment that it was made uh, and with one inquiry. And that's what I mean by giving clients information from an end-to-end -end perspective, right? So historically, they would come to us and we would say, oh, we process it and passed it on, and then they have to go to another bank. So now with that, we're able to give clients information from an end-to-end -end perspective. Uh, and that's super critical. So from a client touch point, either using our tools, and of course, we need to make our tools um, user-friendly, easy to use, and it needs to give them the information that they want, and or pushing the data to the client, right? Those are two key, key priorities for us. Then we know there are clients who just wanna pick up the phone and call into our service organization. So on that front, what we're doing is, and I mentioned earlier, we're creating the big data lake or our single source of truth where all of our data is housed. And we're also developing a single service platform. And so now our service folks, when they get that phone call can go into the service platform which reaches out to our big data application. They get the information immediately and then they can respond to clients. So it's about being efficient. It's about providing our client with whatever tool they choose to use, whether it's using our self-service tool, whether it's having information pushed to them or whether it's reaching out to our service professionals. The key is that it has to be instantaneous and immediate access to data uh, and it has to make sense. Okay, so what channels are you offering to clients for interactions? And again, is there a sort of a limit in terms of the operating hours? So we have a channel. We have uh, our platform is our City Direct uh, BE channel, which a client can come into. And what's great about our City Direct platform is that clients can format the data the way they want, right? So they can set it up within our system to see reports in a certain way. Uh, they can go in and they can format their statements to be pushed to them. So they can go into our City Direct BE application and they can pull out the information that they want um, to. We are working on our upgrade to our City Direct platform to be 24 by 7 because we recognize that the way the industry is going, access to information 24 by 7 is super, super critical, right? And so our City Direct uh, Next Gen product is going to do just that. And then what is City's plans in terms of personalization of the customer experience? A couple things. I mentioned uh, the City Direct platform where clients can go in and they can tailor their reports to however they want them, whether it's statements, whether it's understanding their, their payment statuses or things of that nature. Um, I talked about uh, consolidating our platform service platform. So we're going to, in one place, have information about what the client is doing with us holistically. What that does for us is it allows us to be in a position to say, 
what our clients off, often say to us, show me, you know me, who we are, what we're doing, what we're doing with you. And so one of the things that we're doing, and I mentioned we're, we have a path to advisory program where we're looking to ensure that our, our, our employees are prepared to um, operate in a digital environment. Part of that is, is understanding the client. Now that we have all the data, right, we're going to produce scorecards that will tell our service folks all they need to know about what's happening with that client. And what we will do is we'll do scorecard reviews with the client to say, here's what's happening with your activity. We see an increase in this, or we see an opportunity to provide you with this product. Uh, then we'll talk about what products are on the horizon and how do they want to use them. So servicing is gonna become less reactive and more proactive in terms of how we support our clients. And that's all as a result of having access to the data and being able to analyze it and then go back to our clients with recommendations about improving uh, their, the performance and the experience. Excellent. Well, thank you again, Sandra, for your insights. You're welcome. Thank you.